lot of people wanna try me on my team. They tryna take me out the game. But they don't understand, man. I stay locked and loaded, man. Stay busting at the enemy. They try me again, it'll be a man down. Yeah. Pretty no man. Right here with my big homie DJ Illuminati, straight out of Michigan, man. He he blowing your boy up in Michigan, man. So we booming out that way. We turning up with DJ Illuminati, man. Boom, man, booming. MMI's not a movement. This is the takeover. Let's get it. Yeah, sure, it's good. It's your boy DJ Illuminati, Mr. Get It. Mr. J going into the Michigan Mixtape Assassin. We're in the building with Boom, man. We in ATL, man. We going all the way home. We going live. We going crunk in this motherfucker, man. Boom, man, booming. I support you. I co-sign you, man. We going to take this to the top 2012 to infinity. And man, Mop, shout out to y'all. Shout out to Rap Star Promo, man. Y'all doing it big. Y'all doing crazy. Y'all keeping it turned up. Holla at your boy. One time for your mind. Two time for the haters. Three time for my niggas on bridge car. Four time for my niggas on lockdown. Holla at your boy. Boom, man. Yeah. Him and my street associates. Yeah. Yeah. 3MG. What's good? It's your boy DJ Luminati. We're in the building with Boom Man. LA Boom Man. What's good with you, Pimpin? You know what we do, man. We get it in, man. We take over, man. We boom. You already know. We got all the money, man. One fuck number bad bitches, man. You already know what to do, man. Boom Man, Boom Man. And my CEO. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the big homie K on the track. And my own K on the track. Did it. You the boss. You know what I'm saying? For Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj, Magic for Future, you know, um, Club Hopping for Gucci, Swag Surfing, the list go on, the whole futuristic movement. Shout out to the boy Roscoe Dash, man. You know, we put him all the way up through that, made him a little young, rich nigga, made him a superstar. But yeah, well, you know, we booming. All right, so what, uh, what inspired you to get in this music game? All right, man, it's just hustle, man. It's just one hustle led to the next hustle, man. I, fi I found out I had an ear for it, so, you know, once I realized I had an ear for it and I was, I was, dead on i just i just said let me just really get into it man and let me really grind at it and, and see what it really all about okay with the whole roscoe dash situation how did you come about pushing him and getting people to believe in and then focusing on him well uh well, how that situation was you know um i was throwing parties i was doing music throwing parties selling shoes had a clothing store all that and uh through the process of doing that uh you know throwing a party in atlanta we threw Travis put a mixtape release party. I'm a different than two, I think it was. Um, and they performed the record all the way turned up. Um, I heard it and I was like, man, them boys got him on with that one right there. And then my partner, TJ, who was a part of my company at the time, was like, that ain't even their record. This is doing that Roscoe Dash record. You know what I'm saying? Formerly known as ATL. And I told him, I said, uh, I said, for real? I said, uh, should I want to work with him? Because at that time I was starting to do my little artist stuff. So I was like, let me, I want to work with him. He was like, bet, I, I'll link it up. So as time went on, um, you know, KU was working with Travis Porter at the time. And, um, and, um, situation being, let me get, let me get my facts right. KU was working with, uh, Travis Porter at the time. And, um, Roscoe came down with him. And, um, uh, I was telling him, I was like, man, I really want to work with you, yada, 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 yada. And then, after that, I started seeing what was going on with the record, and I was like, "Damn, them boys really like just taking this man record. Like that's kind of that's kind of fucked up, you know what I'm saying?" And so I hit him up and I asked him. I said, "Is you cool with how everything going on, or whatever?" He was like, "He really was wasn't cool with the situation." So when I found out that he wasn't cool with the situation, um, I decided to say, "You know what? I can help you out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you really get one shot, one good shot at this thing." And uh, maybe two, but mostly one. And uh, he was like, "Cool," you know what I'm saying? He was he really wasn't making no money like that. Uh, they was getting all the credit for the record he made, and he was really disgruntled about it. So, you know, and I knew it was a problem. He had per already purchased the beat from Vibe, and they was having contact problems getting in contact with Vibe. So I was like, "We'll get K to remake the beat." Um, and K at the time was working with Soldier Boy as well, so I was like, "Hey K, you have hit up Soldier Boy, see if you want to jump on this all the way turned up remix." We was gonna make it the remix. Um, Soldier Boy got on and started you streaming live while they was doing it. So from there, it just this whole big controversy went on. Oh, Soldier Boy still in Travis Porter song? Who the fuck is Roscoe Dash? And all that, you know, went on. So we just decided to say we was real big and heavy in promo. We decided to really get behind, bro. And, you know, when we did it, man, it was history. People started knowing who he was. Then we started pushing other songs. We started having him work with K.E. That's how you got Show Out. Um, you got a whole lot of other songs. I Be Shopping, um, Ready, Set, Go. A lot of other records with K.E. And um, 
from there, it was history. So what's what, what's one of the most important things you uh you focus on when you putting the artist out? Um, making sure, um, making sure they have star qualities and good music. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, at the end of the day, it's about the music. You know what I'm saying? If the music is good, we could work with everything else. So it need to be good music, and it need to be something that people are gravitating towards. Because now, what made you go from promoter to slash CEO to boom man the artist? Well, unfortunately, um, we're not rock working with Roscoe anymore because. As he got bigger, you know how that go. A lot of artists start feeling a certain ways. The game uh, changing. The game changing. More people, more money, more problems. You know, I could do it myself. The whole nine. You know, we ain't gonna go too in depth. That's another interview. You know right. what I'm saying? But um, I felt like shoot. Let me put my own label on my own back. You know what I'm saying? You know, I felt like I had the potential and I had the, the appeal to do it myself. So, you know, I decided to just go out there and give it a shot and really give it my all. And, and I got a lot of support in the beginning. And um, as I got better and better, I gained, started getting a lot more fans. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's the difference between supporters and fans. You know, supporters are people that rock with you as a person. Fans are people that rock with your music. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, in the beginning, I had a lot of people that just rock with me as a person and what I stood for and who I was as a person. And then as I continued to improve on my music, I started getting a lot more fans. And combined, man, it's making history right now. On an independent level. So, where you see yourself, MMI, and the Ros and uh, your whole branding in five years, and what kind of legacy you want to le leave on this music industry? Well, uh, um, I see it as being a strong, strong, strong label coming out the south. Uh, I think the sky's the limit, man. Um, only God could say what what we got got in store, but how I would like it to turn out is to be one of the top independent labels out of the South. Uh, brand be one of the biggest brands out of the South. Almost on a uh, so so deaf level. You know what I'm saying? How it was. Uh, you know. It's pretty much like that. Like maybe the next Grand Hustle so so deaf out of the A. You know, we did it our way. You know, we made good music. We kept a good image. You know what I'm saying? We provided a good product. And, and had fun doing it. Okay, so um, if you had tips to get to artists, uh, a lot of independence, um, right. what would be the best advice you would you give them coming in this game? Um, man, you got to go hard or go home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and I live by this philosophy. Hungry, never thirsty. Don't run the thirst play. Don't run the thirst play. A lot of artists get it twisted. Like, a lot of artists run the thirst play into it. And what I mean by the thirst play is looking for the quick way to blow up. And it's like, I'm going to go get a feature from, you know, let's just say Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be up through there. You know what I mean? And that's not always the correct way to go about doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because people are going to think, this Jay-Z song. You know what I'm saying? The the hungry play is, you know, let me... Let me get my money and put promo behind my song. You know what I'm saying? If I gotta, let me get some promo behind my brand. You know what I'm saying? My face, so people know who I am as an artist. So now people is checking for me. You know what I'm saying? And not so Jay Z. But I'm not saying getting features is wrong, but it's sometimes how we do it. You, you get where I'm coming from? Right, right, right. It's the right. moves we make. People, it's look, man. I, hey, man. If I had a shot, man, I'd be on. Well, be honest with you, you'd be on if your music was out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get your music out there. And let somebody come find you instead of you in the person's face trying to tell them how hot you is. Be honest with you, it all it's not validated until somebody else say you hot. Right. You know what I mean? So, so um, like with you networking, you got you got a, quite a few big names on some of your records: Joe Gotti, right. Two Chains, right. uh, Roscoe Jazz, Waka Flocka. Now, how do how do you approach those situations? Um, is it there like a mutual respect, or is it just like okay, from one artist to another, hey, we both we flaming right now, let's get it in. Right. What it will for me, man, like. For me, it was a fun creative process, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a lot of these cats I done done business with as far as with production or with Roscoe or with just in the streets or grew up with them or whoever. Or we just we used to rock shows together or whatever. Um, I knew a lot of these guys on their way up before they got hot, you know what I mean? And um, it was just a chemistry thing. Like, hey, man, I'm working on a project. I'm going to put XYZ on a record, man. I want you to jump on this. Okay, I got you, boom. It's all good. We'll do it. Let's get it in. And, and, and the rest been history, man. You know, some people, you know, stay stay rocking. Some people, they go and do their own thing and, 
And you know, we just we just play man, it's a game, man. You gotta play the game to win, man. So you know, just keeping the couple steady, man. I'm just working. All right, any last last thing you wanna give me shout outs. And the upcoming projects gonna put people up on? Oh yeah, I got that booming two point coming out. Um it's gonna be a crazy mixtape like the last one. Check the last one out on live mixtapes dot com, Nat Piff. Uh log on to my website, boomman dot com for everything booming. And uh, got that booming two point uh we up in here still going crazy. Got a couple more singles, uh Bad Bitches, um, Man Down with Gucci Man. I got a couple new records called All the Money with a uh, new little artist on the label called E.T. Um, song called Get Low. So, man, we working, man. You know, check us out on World Star. Check us out on YouTube. We booming, man. Shout out to my whole team, MMI, Street Associates, uh, Real Talk, Rap Star Promo. You know, the whole team, man. Everybody who's been behind me, supportive, and all the fans, man. We rocking, man. We booming, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy DJ Luminati. Appreciate you. 100. Yeah.